What's good, Icy Game? Y'all already know what's going on. It's your boy, K Icy. <laughs> Back with another one. Back with another video. Y'all already know as y'all can tell from the title. We got another reaction on that ass, on that ass. We back with another reaction. And from the title, what? Like, what am I even doing right now? The most, the absolute most. Now, but as y'all can see from the title, we got another reaction. This video is a reaction to the Claremont Twins before they were famous, Bad Girls Club and more. Uh, we're about to go ahead and get into this video. Oh, bro. Y'all already know what to do. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Turn on y'all post notification bell so whenever I post, y'all can be first notified again. Follow me on my social medias at Pretty Boy Icy. That's two eyes at the end. And drop in the comments some more videos y'all want to see me react to. Don't be shy. Don't be shy. Because a lot of y'all shy. And y'all need to break. If y'all are part of my fam, my gang, the Icy Gang. Like a, like a icy gang, icy gang, icy gang, icy gang. There's a icy gang. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing or talking about right now. <laughs> but yeah, let me know in the comments some more videos y'all want me to react to. I'm about to go and get into this video. I'm Shannon and I'm Sinead. So yeah. <laughs> and here's the children. You guys can see our children. This is Chase. This is Papa. Yes. And Chloe. These are our babies. They're 10 months old. They fight. <laughs> Before the Claremont twins would rise to fame after their short-lived appearance on season 14 of Oxygen's Bad Girls Club. My name is Shannon. I'm Sinead. And we're the Claremont twins. If you look up bad bitch in the dictionary, you'll find the Claremont twins. Yeah. That's what I mean, Two Shannon. bad bitches. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Before the Claremont Twins would appear in music videos for Future and Nicki Minaj. Before the Claremont Twins would have over 11,000 subscribers on YouTube, 52.8 thousand followers on Twitter, and over 1.6 million. Oh, um, maybe I should stop my screen recording because I just want to, I don't really want to, um, I just wanted to talk about the picture that they just showed. Because, yeah, I'm going to stop my screen recording because... I ain't trying to let my video freeze. I'll be damned if my video freeze. I got this editing shit down pat. You hear me? All right. So, but the the picture that they sh the, the picture that they show that that um picture went viral once upon a time. Like a lot of people had like a lot to say. But picture is old as hell now. But I just wanted to speak on it because it popped up in the video. It's what I'm watching. So. A lot of people um, had a lot to say about the picture. Um, let me pull it up on here, on my computer. Um, hold on, y'all. I don't want to make this video too long either. So, yeah. Excuse my background, y'all. My dog is barking. I got a dog as well, <laughs> but no, he ain't motherfucking blue or pink. I don't think I actually would die. I got a family dog. So yeah, that's that's definitely not going Even if I had a personal dog, I don't think I would ever die my dog. That's more like, I feel like this is more like an artsy thing. I would never do that. I would never die my dog, but people do it. So yeah. Um. So let's get into this picture though. This picture... Talking about this picture. Um, I can't. I actually don't even see it on here. Mm. They got it like blurred out on. They got the picture blurred out. Oh wait, never mind. It's right here. Um. Okay, so um, <laughs> oh, 
Oh, let me see. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm really trying to like really get into this picture. Okay, so <clears throat> the Claremont twins are like a lot of people were saying like it's like incest, like they were like kissing each other or whatever. Um Yeah, like they seen the picture and made everybody had their opinions or whatever, but I, the way I feel about it is the, the Claremont uh, the a lot of people got to understand that the Claremont twins are like art, like their art. Um, you know how you got like artists, like I'm an artist, like I'm a rapper, I'm an artist. So like we love art and art is like our passion in life. So you really got to understand, you really have to understand, like to know them is to understand them. And like they are, like they they like fashion like girls. They like they models, and they do all that type of shit. Like in their photo shoots, they do like all these like artsy, like a whole bunch of artsy shit. Basically, their life is based upon like all that shit. So basically, it's like it's art. They make art. So when they do photo shoots, it's like we're gonna put out produce art. So I get it. I understand. A lot of people don't, but I do. Um, them being like fashion models and shit like that. So, um, but the picture itself, um, I don't think like they make out or like they kiss. I don't think they do that type of freaked out ass weird ass shit. Like incest is like having like intercourse with your fucking family, like flesh and blood, like. Like, you know, like, weird shit like that. Like, that's incest. Like, you make out, you, f you f have sex in the course, whatever. That's incest. I don't necessarily think that that picture is incest. I don't think that they are incest. I don't think they're incest. I think they are smart. I think they are art. And, yeah, that's what I get from it. I don't really, like, think that they are, like, nasty as... I Trust me, y'all. I wouldn't support no people like that. Like, if, like... Okay, y'all know the um y'all know the what's the the Island Boys, the Island Brothers. Now they are incest. That's like a that's like a line of no fucking return. Like they are incest. If y'all don't know who the Island the Island Boys is, I'm gonna put a picture in of them right here. That's incest. They got videos of them like actually fucking kissing. The picture of the Claremont twins is like a quick like let's get a uh, let's get a photo of your tongues touch type shit for like art like pictures so it's a difference i don't support the island boys i don't think that that's fucking cool i don't think that that's whatever they got going on i don't think that that shit is okay so that's my take on that picture that they showed let me get back into this video followers on instagram at the time of this recording we have officially reached the point where social media has become the most prevalent platform in the world regular everyday people now have it fully within their own control to turn themselves into models vloggers and musicians and even fashion designers based upon their instagram follower accounts and the type of content they create shannon and Sinead Claremont are no different. These two Haitian Jamaican twins first dropped into our lives thanks to Bad Girls Club. We'll do whatever we want. We want to have fun. We'll just do whatever. We don't care what other people think. We're just... And we stand up for exactly for how we feel and what we think is right. That's a bad bitch. Yeah. <laughs> and ever since then, they've been popping up everywhere else. Music videos, Times Square billboards, Terry Richardson photo shoots, and even Yeezy campaigns. 
Make no mistake, the Claremont twins are glamorous for us, but they've also managed to harness their notoriety as a launch pad to build a career on their own terms. What's going on, guys and girls? It's your girl, Azalea Hart, back at it again with a brand new video. This one, taking a look at the come up of the Claremont twins here for you on Before They Were Famous. These two have been a social media stable for close to five years now, so it's about time that I finally got around to checking out their life story. Let me know what you guys think about their tale in the comments down below, and that's tale spelled T-A-L-E, boys. So, let's keep the comments clean. I know that might be tough, but, whew. These two are really hot stuff. There's no doubt about that. What can I say? Sometimes, I just love my job. <laughs> I got your appetite ready, so follow us on Instagram at Before They Were Famous to vote on what's next. Now, let's get into the story. Hey, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. Shannon and Sinead Claremont are identical twins who were born on March 21st, 1994 in Montclair, New Jersey. The youngest of five siblings, the sisters have an older sister and two older brothers. After being born in Jersey, the Claremont family moved to Dallas, Georgia, when the twins were only nine, and that's where they spent their formative years. Their dad is from Haiti and owns his own moving company, while their Jamaican-born mother ran a daycare. From the get-go, their parents taught them about the value of hard work and getting good grades. The girls told Paper Magazine they always taught us to prioritize our responsibilities and our dad always told us to never let anyone tell you no. The girls took that advice to heart and decided early on that they wanted to dedicate themselves to the glamorous life. Growing up in Georgia, the girls shared a bedroom up until middle school and of course, being siblings, there was always a bit of a competitive streak between the two, especially when it came to guys. So guess what happened today? A boy named Sammy, who I, was pre I pretty much liked. Okay, another boy already? I don't think they, um, am I screen recording? I think I am, yeah. Yeah, I don't think that they needed the surgery. I think that they looked good as fuck before the surgery, but it, it's your money. You do what you want to do with your money, and it's your life. You do what you want to do in your life, so I don't think, why the fuck are they popping fireworks? I don't, uh... I don't think that they needed the surgery, but yeah. They often found themselves talking with white guys who would tell them how hot they were, but would then go on to explain that they can never take them home to their white parents. Despite being confronted with such blatant close-mindedness, the twins would keep a smile on their face and kill their enemies with kindness. A big influence early on in their life when they were still in Jersey was their aunt, who would bring the young girls to fashion shows in New York, where they got their first taste of the fashion industry. Their aunt would even design her own clothes, and the twins were fascinated by that. By the time they were 14 years old, they had begun modeling themselves. The twins told Paper Magazine, I remember sitting our parents down and telling them we were about to do everything we could. Everyone said we should be in catalogs and movies, but our parents were really scared about that. The girls had already done a few small shows with their aunt and even smaller events with family and friends, but their parents wanted them to focus on school. The twins worked hard to get their good grades and a piece of parents enough to get their approval to begin acting and modeling. At first, they pay their friends to take them into Atlanta where they could apply for everything, even college fashion shows. They applied to every single casting they could find and ended up in hair magazines, teen catalogs, and booking modeling gigs for the likes of the Brona Brothers. All this hustle is how they eventually ended up in Future's Same Damn Time video and that was followed up with stand-in work for films. They won themselves a contract to go to an acting and modeling school for six months, which helped get them into a database for agency casting. That's how they found themselves appearing in the likes of Tyler Perry's House of Pain and a Netflix film called Plus One. By the time they were ready for college, both sisters were offered full-ride scholarships to schools in Georgia, but they couldn't stick around there a moment longer. The only place they wanted to be was in New York City. So Sinead applied to study strategic design at Parsons School of Design, and Shannon applied to fashion merchandising at the Fashion Institute of Technology. Both girls would go on to graduate in 2016, but not before experiencing their breakthrough moment by filming a season of the bad girls club in 2015 i can look better than you and wear my jeans wear your jeans i have a mask on and still look better than you look at you you're my daughter's best bitch as you can no doubt 
Now tell from that clip, despite their bitch. appearance doing wonders for their career, the filming itself did not go smoothly at all. In fact, the twins were kicked off the show halfway through filming for threatening castmates after a whole bunch of their shit got destroyed. Who the is that? Oh my god, that's our stuff! be ready to throw down if someone did that to my stuff too. I was just about to say that. Speaking with Paper Magazine, the girls had what? this to say about their appearance on the show. When we did Bad Girls Club, that's when our social media became really big. We had less than 10,000 followers before BGC. It brought us major visibility and so many opportunities, but there's a flip side. You can get trapped in a bubble of fantasy very quickly, especially if you can't spin it into reality. With that in mind, the girls decided to head back to reality. They turned entrepreneur and debuted Monte Boudoir, a western themed luxury women's wear brand. Their profile increased even further after being featured in Kanye's Yeezy Season 6 collection in January of 2018, in which they appeared alongside Paris Hilton and clones of Kim Kardashian. But by early 2019, the girls' lives took a bit of a twist when Sinead turned herself into police after a man she described as her sugar daddy died of a cocaine cut with fentanyl overdose. The problem is that Sinead had taken the man's debit card and went on a $20,000 shopping spree after he had already passed away. Sinead swears up and down that she was unaware that the man's life was in danger and has since apologized many times for what happened. She's also spent close to a year in prison having only been released rather recently. Sinead! Come this way! Oh, oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Sinead! But now that the twins are reunited, they're ready to get back to where they left off. And as for the rest of this story, well, I think we'll end this video right here. After all, this is before they were famous. What did you guys think of the Claremont twin story? Can you guys tell these two apart? Because I sure as heck cannot. Apparently, Sinead has a tattoo that runs along her right pelvis, while Shannon has a distinct birthmark. But no one seems to know where exactly. Might need to get somebody on that case to figure that one out. Stat. Do I have any volunteers? Oh, all of you? Yeah, I figured. All right, guys, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Before They Were Famous, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now, we drop a new video each and every day, so here's a recent drop that you might enjoy. We handpicked that one for you because if you like this video, you'll probably... Yeah, I can tell them apart. Um, Yeah, I can tell them apart. I think... Because I've been um, fucking with him for so long. I can tell him my part. And yeah. But that is my reaction, y'all. Let me know in the comments what y'all thought of this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to um, click y'all post notification bell so whenever I post, y'all can be first notified. Let me know in the comments some more videos y'all want me to react to. Don't forget to stream KIC on all music platforms. I have a music, I have new music on the way. I have a new project. It's called 24, eight songs on the way. Be on the lookout. It's your boy KIC and I'm out.